Is it? Okay. <coughs> a cross of many European folklores, mainly Polish. It says Mulherne 80. Yeah, so it's, it's based on Polish literature, which is available in English nowadays, thanks to the popularity of the games. Uh, so the Polish influence really does uh, kind of come through in the gameplay and storytelling. It's kind of like a, a Polish sort of um, take on a lot of the fairy tales that we're familiar with or not familiar with. I need to not walk in that green stuff. I don't worship Satan, says Puff. I worship myself. <laughs> I like that. The architecture looks very medieval Polish. I, I can't really say I've ever classified architecture into any kind of group which would encompass medieval Polish. Also, never been to Poland before. Germany's the closest I've been. Oh god! Oh god! What? I, I bloody blocked that. Uh, the nice thing about that was I got rid of that gas as well by using... Oh god, they're using the fire. Uh, the camera angle makes this hard because he was swinging the sword behind Geralt there and I couldn't see the sword. A bit annoying. This is also really grim. Chopping people's heads off and stuff. I need to get. Oh god! I need to get rid of the archer, really. Right, he's screwed. Oh man, I'm really not. Oh god, I'm really not taking any damage. I'm trying to time these counters to break down his shield, but I'm so bad. And this isn't the game being rubbish, this is just me not being able to time a mouse click. That's enough of that. <laughs> Swats casting curses. I love the language they're using this. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I was laughing too much at the dialogue there. Right, I don't know where these guys came from or what they were all about, but um let me just check the condition of my weapons, because they're doing enough damage still. Uh, steel, so it's the red number at the bottom of this box here, 53%, that's pretty bad. Wow, 44, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna use, uh, the repair kit. On... oh no, I can't, it's not a weapon repair kit. Have I got a weapon repair kit? Oh, bloody hell, I picked up a lot. I, literally, I am carrying all of this stuff around with me. I must have about 20 swords. I'll just, ca just casually, like, carry into it. Oh yeah, no problem, I'm carrying around 20 swords. Has that repaired it all the way? 84. Let's use another one on the steel one. That's 93. Right, so there's no damage penalty now for those swords. Just like, yep, yeah, just pick up all the swords. Just loot everything. So there must be some like loot and stuff in here. Can I get to that? See, this is an annoying bit, like, I can't, I don't know which way to point the camera to get the E to appear. There we go. Ah, that diagram's not much use. Novigrad longsword. It scores a zero on the carometer. Uh, these are exploding barrels, we don't need to uh, do a lot with those. There is a little range marker, and I'm 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 playing at 1080 and broadcasting at 720. So, on the left of the mini map and top right, you might not be able to see it, but there is a range marker. You've got an idea of how far it is that I need to go to get to these places. Ah, oh, down Warren. <laughs> Excellent. This map is absolutely epic. Let me just have a before we do this. Look at this, right? Look at the state of that. That is ridiculous. So we started off... Uh, where did we start off? So the orphans were here. We've come all the way to here. But that's just that bit. 
And there's a city over here that I haven't visited yet. Visited yet. And this place is huge. Uh, this isn't the map of the whole game, though. This is just one region of the game. So this is Valen. How do I change the map to a different map? I don't know if I can. Oh, Space World map. <coughs> so, I mean, these are the ones that I know about at the minute. And the Skelliger Isles, Novigrad, White Orchard was where we started from. And uh, the Royal Palace. The Royal Palace is not like a whole map, it's just a building. But I, d I don't know if any more of these become available later on, but that is... these. If all the maps are the same size that I haven't visited yet, that is just ridiculous how big this is. Huh. Geese. Yeah. What's this say? <coughs> Excuse me. The inhabitants of the villages of Down Warren and Lindenvale are hereby ordered to report to the North Guardian Army Group Center Camp to perform labor for the Empire. Lists of assigned residents and their designated days of service have been provided to the village aldermen. Those caught evading their duties shall be flogged. Nice. So there's there's a war on basically at the moment. This is the interesting thing with The Witcher. Like in a game like Skyrim, like you're trying to be the hero. Huh? You're trying to do all the stuff that makes you like be liked by people and you're you're amazing and stuff. I mean you can play Skyrim differently, but that's generally the way the main quests go. They try and get you to do good things. Uh, it's a lot more of a grey area in The Witcher. You know? Like, there's a war on. Geralt doesn't care that there's a war. He's not trying to stop the war. He's not trying to win the war for either side or stop the violence. All he really cares about is finding Ciri. And he's not a bad person, I don't think. But it, it comes across as a, a total... Um, he realises he's got his limitations, you know? I've just stolen all your stuff, mate. But he's not he's not a bad person, but he just realizes he can't do anything. This place is grim. Everything is so grim. Let's see what quests we've got available here. Has he tried holding the home button on the iPhone? <laughs> what why what'd it do? We'll trade cinch and rugs for food. I might as well pick all these up. Three cinch and rugs for meat, preferably. You can see the greens as well. New items never used. Ideal for decorating walls. Lovely fabric. Meant as a dowry for my daughter, but the black hands did her in. <coughs> Hay rack wagon for sale. Original owner, good condition. Hardly used, kept in barn. Some of these are just flavour text. We'll darn and patch. If you wear it, I can patch it. Sew it, darn it, or otherwise make it as good as new or better. My hands work fast and steady. Thread and patch is included in the price, but if more than an, L an L's worth of stuff is needed... I don't know what an L's worth is. Uh, you'll have to provide it yourself. Payment in eggs, grain, or potatoes preferred. Well, this is Poland, so no shortage of potatoes. Uh, giving me Roger to anyone who care for him well and promise not to eat. <laughs> promise not to eat him. He's a dog. Well, he's a lovely, well-behaved mutt. Harks the hand what feeds him, but I've naught left to feed him with. Perfect. I feel like I should have a northern accent for this. Perfect for gardening a yard and garden or herding sheep at pasture. Awfully glad to sleep in a barn. Come see Baxter. Okay. We'll flesh and tan the hides of deer, wolves, and bears. Price negotiable. Ah, here we go. Contract. Monster from the swamp. Anyone who knows how to read, read this and read it careful. I think you mean read it carefully. So that it's known far and wide, or at least throughout the whole village. Out in the bog, by where we dig peat. I, I imagine that's pretty much the whole bog. There's a beast what feeds on men and spurts out deadly mists all around itself. If you go with a sword and looking for coin, know that I'll pay and pay well for the beast's head. And to everyone else, stay out of the cursed bog if you value lives. Don't say I didn't warn you. From Leslav. <coughs> <coughs> okay, so we've got a new contract here. Uh, let's just click through all this shit here. Right, so, let's check on the level of that contract. So that one, wasn't it? Swamp thing. Level 12. 
I mean, some of these... We won't be on these for a while. Level 33. Level 32. I mean, just look at this list of quests. This is just the first area as well. Oh, has he tried holding the home button on his iPhone to find Siri? Yeah, I'm not sure... Um, iPhones played a major part in medieval Polish fantasy, you know. Oh, where am I? Oh, here, here he is. He's the alderman. Greetings. <coughs> <coughs> nice village. Excuse me. Boy, a real pearl of the swamps, if you say so. You get by all right. Boy, winter to winter, somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger. My master. I didn't know you belonged to them. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt <coughs> for nights and days. <coughs> Folks sleepwalk from their homes. Never to return. Under the tree on the whispering hill <coughs> they lie. Unburied all fathers, sons, daughters, and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. When did all this start? Three year back. I remember, twas a warm day. Went to check the snares for game. Pulled a hair from me trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. Thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands. And the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks' teeth turn black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. Doesn't sound too unusual. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the lady's help. Need more details. You can see for yourself. <laughs> wow. Me grand's been <coughs> whacked me crosswise from mm. straying near <coughs> the whispering hillock. But what happens there now is a wonder. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. Delightful. Stream won't load for me, says Mr. Bonkey. Well, you won't be able to hear me say that then. That's interesting. Of the wood don't know what this <clears throat> power is. Guys in they chat, if you can all. help him. Old Thackler claimed they'd be punishing us. Don't forget, Folks I'm also on YouTube and Hitbox, them. if that's easier Some for Mr. Bonky. Call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. Now I'm going to loot your stuff. Gimme. What you got in here? Anything worth nicking? Empty bottle. You've got a recycling bin outside. Could have used it. <coughs> All right. <coughs> oh bloody hell! That's miles away. Actually, it's not that far, is it? All right, let's do it. Goose. Hmm. So, interestingly, like, um, Geralt does have a crossbow. Is there a merchant here? Yeah, there is. I'm going to use a merchant. But the crossbow is designed, I think, the game has designed it to be useless. Like, it's just for aggroing, really. Milk. Freshly curled <clears> up milk. Eggs straight from the coop. Every <laughs> trace of shit on them. So, Mr. Bonky's over on YouTube. Guess I'm going to watch on YouTube then, he says, in a YouTube chat, surprisingly. Uh, what are you selling? Show me what you sell. Uh, not every merchant would accept all goods. This guy is going to take my swords and stuff, so I'm going to try and... We're, we're getting near the carry limit here. 
to try and sell him as much stuff as possible. As much heavy stuff. I don't need any of this stuff. What I do want to do is I want to keep... Basically, this is my last sword. It's actually a pretty good sword. He would buy that for 150, actually. It's quite a lot, but he hasn't got enough money. Um, but it's got stuff in it. It's got... Um, it's a slotted item, you know, and it's got stuff in the slots, so... Uh, I don't know. I think I'll probably... I'll probably stash that, to be honest. I'll destroy what's in the slots and then stash it. Got some pickaxes, dude. Gladly give you my pickaxes. Is there a quicker way to sell stuff in this? I'm not particularly interesting looking at selling stuff. Uh, this guy is now not a, not so much a merchant as an arms dealer. Thanks to me. I wasn't sell anything by accident. It's too easy to do that in this. Try to shift click. No, that, that, that just compares to my current item. Good shout though. Oh, I can right click. Okay, I can right click. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, what the f... This guy is selling rotten flesh. Like, do you not check the sell-by date before you sell it? Uh, gotta watch out, he's not got a lot of money left. I'm not selling that to you. This is actually pretty good, this isn't too bad, like, um... It's nowhere near as good as what I've got, but... It's pretty good. Sell that for a lot. Uh, let's see if he's got anything, like, quite often these guys have, um, no, uh, don't really have anything useful. So some, some of the guys, there's a game, there's a card game built into the game, called Gwent. I can play him, but I'm not really interested in playing him. So long. Um, and, and uh, you know, you need to collect cards as you go around, um, it's just a nice, a nice little thing to have on the side, I guess. Uh, but I've, my, my decks aren't very, have I just gone in there or out, what the hell? What's the point in having a door there? Oh. Crazy medieval Polish architecture. Yeah, so we sold a lot of our stuff. He ran out of money in the end, so that's fine. Fallout invented a card game in game first. Yeah, probably. I mean, I'm going to say it. The Witcher doesn't do anything revolutionary. Yeah, It just does a lot of things very well. <clears throat> I think a lot of developers kind of go, well, it's going to be really hard to make a compelling story that lasts for 200 hours. And these guys just went, eh, screw it. How hard can it be? They just perfected that. They didn't perfect the combat at all. It's still better than Skyrim's combat, in my opinion, but... Whoa, what's going on here? I'm going to do this bit on foot, I think. <laughs> That's why. I want to get them both on the same side so I can, yeah, do that. Okay, that's easy. It just, it just does the storytelling so very well, and the, and the quests, the, the quests that come up, they're not, they're not just like do something and then get a reward. It, it, they've often got multiple branching paths and sort of side objectives, and it, uh, one quest might take you an entire evening to play through, and it's not even a main quest; it's a side quest. But here's the thing, like, a lot of, um, a lot of these games, it, it feels like the main quest is, you're just doing the side quest to sort of bulk out your character, but they've been, they've done really, really well at making the side quests in this compelling. Like, you want to do them, because of the way they're laid out. And I think that really helps, because if it was just the main quest, it's, it's still a fairly long game, but it's, it's nowhere near as long as it could be. Get the horse back. I mean, the writing. I mean, I, I think I think it's clever because they they know fairy tales are solid stories, and they've played off a lot of uh, 
a lot of fairy tales. To their credit, really. Whispering hillock, here we go. <laughs> Come no closer. <coughs> I know whence you Let's have a look. This isn't even the quest that we were on. Whispering Hillock. Oh, it's level 5. Let's just do that one because we're here. That's what I mean. Like, I want to know what's going on with this. The powers that protect me. Jesus, do you mind not talking so loud? Whence you come. There's an entrance marker that I've just found. Uh, uh, where is that entrance? Oh god. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. The powers will not relent. Oh. Lol, you're on fire. Where's he going? I don't run off. Oh, chopped him in half. Oh, that's really creepy. Hmm. Magic. A place of power. Okay, so we can level. We can. It's not leveling up, but it's kind of like gaining ability points when you use this stuff, so might as well have a look at our character. I really want to know what's happening with that voice. That's what I mean, this, this quest is so compelling to me. <clears throat> yeah, it's like the loudest whisper I've ever heard, Puff. <laughs> Definitely. So, the thing with this is that you... Although you can level up stuff, it's not like other games, you have to put the powers on the right hand side to be able to do stuff with them. So I could level up some, say, like this skill, strength training, all I wanted, but it won't do anything unless I actually put it over here. And then I've got these, um, these mutagens over here. So if I put red things and then put a red mutagen in, I get a bonus, so I've got attack power 20% and attack power 5% on the right hand side. Uh, this one's locked. <clears throat> so... The, these <coughs> a lot of these skills are compelling. Like each piece of light armor increases critical hit damage, fast attack damage. But if I took that skill, I can't use it because I don't have a slot to put it in. And even when you get really high level, you know, like this is unlocked at level thirty, you still can't. You can only use twelve things at once. <coughs> so it kind of forces you to to plan this out a little bit. And I've maxed out the delusion power which I'm using here. It just gives me some more dialogue options. Uh, I'm not allowed to take this yet because I have to put more points in this branch. Um, I don't have a spare slot so at this stage it just makes sense to level these up but this is already maximum level and that's already maximum level. So what have we got here? Fast attack damage increased by 25%. This one increases chance of landing a fast attack critical hit by 2% Fast attack critical hit damage by 15%. So I mean, like, even if I take that, I still can't use it. Which is annoying because we can't use it until we get to level 10. I can't really level anything else up though. And I don't have any points in alchemy. None of these seem like they were that good. It doesn't help me make potions. So there's a, there's a kind of an overdose mechanic in this as well where if you constantly spam potions all the time, you end up getting poisoned, and then you take damage. I actually think that's quite clever. Because <clears throat> in a game like Skyrim, you can just sort of spam them over and over again to keep healthy. Uh, I don't know, none of this stuff seems to be that useful. I'm going to keep my ability point for now. <clears throat> and also that place of power gave us a... Uh, some Igni, Igni Intensity, which is our fire spell. Where's the entrance? Oh, here it is. Hello. Let's get our Witcher sensors on the go. Ah. Oh. 
Give me mushrooms. I want to loot you. There we go. Alright. What the hell is this? Who's drumming? Uh, I can't... Oh, maybe I can go over there. Well, all that did was put my torch out. I can't go in there. Okay, this is weird. That looks like water. That is water. Also, this is really dark. There doesn't seem to be a gamma slider in this game, which is weird. Maybe I just haven't found it. Let me loot you. <laughs> and luckily, uh, he does have quite a lot of breath, so you're not going to run out very quickly, which is... I hate that. You know, in games, it's, like, it's a challenge to get somewhere really quickly because you're underwater and you're going to run out of breath. Yeah, I don't like that. <coughs> oh, God. <laughs> 